put on the whole harmony of God on us and soak us in the blood of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we just clean of all defilements, pollution, and contamination with the blood of Jesus Christ. Forgive us of every sin. Father God, we repent in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. Happy on day. Happy Saturday, August 17, 2024. This is love word. The King you open heaven. A guide to close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah is an heaven language. Hallelujah song we never say for our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is prayer contaminants. Prayer contaminants. Let me first let me find the book of Proverbs 18, verse 21. I read Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Such things that contaminate our prayer, such that they weaken our prayer and their possible results, are known. One such thing is speaking war that I can that we are praying for. When you pray about your country, for example, and later join other in saying that nothing good can come out of that same country, you have contaminated your prayer already. Don't pray for God to give life to something and turn around to speak death into that same thing. You will not get results from such a prayer. Joel 3 verse 10 says, Let the weak say, I am strong. In the other world, if you have prayed for strength, but you can see trees of wickedness in you. At that point, say, I am strong. As you walk in the line with your prayer, they will remain potent enough to deliver results you seek. When you pray about something, it is important that your word and thought agree with your prayer. This way, you will stand in the way of the answer to your prayer. Another thing that can contaminate prayer is lack of concentration while praying. This is when people pray, but their hearts are not in the prayer. Rather, their minds are occupied with other things. The devil know that if your mind is distracted while praying, your prayer will not carry as much power as it should be. Thereof, whenever you decide to pray, it will begin to remind you of things you are yet to do and place that out to have gone through. His plan is to occupy your mind with other things so that you will become distracted and lose your concentration as you pray. Whenever you find your mind wondering why praying, write down the thing that you ought to have done, put the note aside and continue pray. Train your mind to keep all distraction away and don't give room for them to disturb a connection to God in the place of prayer. With time, as you continue to train your mind, you will get good at focusing on Holy God while praying. Please, take note of this. By then, I want us to read the book of Proverbs 18, verse 20 to 21, and our Bible in one year, Jeremiah 47, verse 48. Our he in three Asians word Asians word our key point for today if you want your prayer to remain potent and powerful enough to deliver results make sure that they are not contaminated if you want your prayer to remain potent and powerful enough to deliver results make sure they are not contaminated and I pray heaven we guide you in all your way. Heaven will make you a prayer focus in Jesus' name. Everything you lay your hand will be successful and your prayer will answer speedfully in Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, this is your word. 
that I can't wait tomorrow. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, share with your friends and family, and goodness of God will never live a lie. Have a nice day and bye for now. God bless you. Don't forget, kindly share this program, share it on your timeline, Facebook, anywhere you can. As you are doing so, you are doing the work of God and God will bless you mightily. In Jesus' name, thank you for listening and bye for now. See you tomorrow. Have a nice weekend.